worst flight I've ever been on in my entire life. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Where's George? Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is the third part of the series about airports. The first video was departures, the second video was flights, and now we're finally on arrivals. But before we jump into this video, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Make sure you hit that like button if you find this video useful. Be sure to share this video with any other English learners that you may know. Follow me on my social media accounts. There's also a WhatsApp group. I'll leave the link below for that also. And certainly feel free to comment just to show some love. With that being said, let's get right into this. So you're on your flight and you're approaching your destination. Now is time for the plane to descend. So when an aircraft starts to descend, it means that it is decreasing its altitude. So it's going from a really high altitude down to a lower altitude. And that's called descending. So you've descended and now you're ready to land. This is also called Touchdown. A touchdown is the moment of contact the plane makes with the ground. The moment the wheels, the landing gear, touch the ground. And the area that you're landing on is called the landing strip. And so the landing strip is just basically the runway, also known as an airstrip. And once you land, you might look out your window and see what's called a windsock. So a windsock is a cone shaped piece of fabric on a pole and it is used to tell the direction and the strength of the wind. So once you've landed you'll have to be taxied to the terminal where you'll be disembarking. Now I don't know if there's actually a car driving in front of the airplane or not. I don't know. I don't sit up in the front seat but usually they're telling you on the plane keep your seatbelts fastened and remain in your seats while you're being taxied to the terminal. So I've already mentioned this word disembark. When you disembark, it means that you're leaving the aircraft. You're getting off the aircraft. Now, depending on how big the airport is and where you need to go, you may need to get into one of these shuttles. So the airport provides these shuttles and they help move passengers from terminal to terminal, from gate to gate, depending on if they have connecting flights or depending on how big the airport is. Some airports are huge and they need to move you from where you've landed to where you need to go. Okay, so you've landed, you've disembarked, you've been shuttled to where you need to go. Now you're inside the airport and you come across these walkways, but they're moving walkways. And that's what they're called, moving walkways. You can either stand on them or you can walk on them. In my experience, they're not any faster than just walking yourself. In fact, I've seen people pass me on them. Even when I'm walking on them, I've seen people pass me on the outside. I mean, maybe it's just my short legs. So now you've come up to the customs and immigration desks where you have to wait in lines. And at these desks, they'll check your passport, they'll check your visa, they'll check your identity to make sure the picture matches. Sometimes they have facial recognition on their computer and fingerprint scanners. Once they have reviewed all your information, they'll give you a arrival stamp. So you've gotten through customs and immigration. Now you got to go find your luggage. So you have to head towards the baggage claim area and your bags will come out onto these carousels. But wait, you've stood there waiting and waiting for your luggage, but nothing's come out. Sometimes airlines lose your luggage. Sometimes they get put on their own flight or simply they just get misplaced and you have to go over to the lost and found area. Now, in my experience, when you've lost your luggage, you don't get it right away, but the lost and found department will call you once your bags have been returned to the proper area. It's happened to me before. It took two days to get resolved. So you've claimed your bags and now you see these kiosks that sell SIM cards. So you can pick up a SIM card at these kiosks so that you can make phone calls while you're in the country, assuming your phone is unlocked. Now, if you're not from the country that you've just landed in, then you are called a tourist. So a tourist is someone who's visiting the country for pleasure or leisure time while they're on vacation. So you've got your SIM card. Now it's time to exit the airport. You're at the arrival terminal where people are waiting to greet you. If you have friends or family, they've come to meet you. That's where they'll be. They'll be standing behind these bars waiting for you to walk out the door. And sometimes there's even chauffeurs that'll pick you up and they'll be holding a sign that has your name on it. But that's not for everybody. It's mostly for people traveling on business. So you're stuck taking a taxi if you don't know anybody. But beware, there are taxi scams out there. There are some people that park over by the taxi area 
in unmarked cars. In some countries, there are cars that are parked that are unmarked. They have no words on them, no numbers, nothing on them. And these people are claiming to be taxi drivers. And you get in, they tell you the price, and it's a reasonable price. But by the time they drive you to where you need to go, the price is doubled. And you might not understand the currency yet. So you might not even know that you're paying a lot. But also beware, some of these taxis, even though they are marked, they're still scams. They'll be, the name on the car will be slightly different than the original and even the phone number. So please do your research before you go to whatever country you're going to. Make sure you're not being taken advantage of. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about arrivals. This wraps up our three-part series on airports. If you missed those other videos or you want to continue learning some English, you can watch these videos here, please don't smash my face. It's starting to hurt. I mean, please don't do it. But if you have to, just do it. Do it lightly. Okay? If you have to. Be gentle. Okay, guys. That's it. Peace.